Hello, and welcome to another edition of Convict Inc. I'm your host, Robert Rosso. Is my collar really messed up like it's looking? I don't know, whatever. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please do so. If you like this video, please push like and share it with your family, friends, neighbors, enemies, etc. I have mentioned in past videos about K2 or synthetic marijuana flooding our prison systems, our federal prison systems. I'm going to speak on what I know. Um, one of the one of the issues is for people that don't know. Let's take for example this envelope. Let's pretend it was actually the envelope, and you addressed it to a prisoner. And let's say you took this piece of paper. Well, oh, everybody wants to give me money, by the way. Everybody, I'm pre-approved for everything. Why is that? Because I'm a dumbass who applied for too many credit cards. Anyway, so let's take this piece of paper, for example, and let's pretend we had some spray right here. I should have actually got a spray bottle and done this right. I can spray synthetic marijuana that comes straight from Europe. I think you can order it on the internet still. I have not Googled and researched it. I know that people are getting it from overseas. And you can spray it right on a piece of paper, fold it up, address it to deer, favorite prisoner, mail it on in, and it's undetectable to, the, to a, an untrained eye, especially. Um, as a matter of fact, I remember SIS at FCI Terra Hutt ordered some and did the whole process themselves and told people about it, and they couldn't even tell after they did it, after they did it right. Now, there's a process, but that's not really necessary. The point is, so let's just like a regular sheet of paper, you take up to $6,000. Somebody sprays it right, 6,000. They guys get an ID card, perfect. My little pre-approved credit card for 17 grand that I really wanna use. I have to throw away because my wife will leave. Um, take an ID card, that much, cut it. So this was paper, that ID card was worth, I think, they, I think it was like $200. Or wait, 150 books of stamp. So it can be worth like four or $500. I'm trying to remember the, the stamp value, stamps are currency. So. You then cut this in little tiny, tiny pieces of paper, like, like that big, it's $5. Actually, that could be like $20, it just depends. And I, and I wasn't into the K2 stuff, I did it twice. I did some that, I did the, the one that comes sprayed on paper and they used to have it in like um, a marijuana form, some some uh, herb, you know, and they'd spray the, spray the stuff. But who wants to get pot? or a substance brought in the visitation room when you can just mail it in. Um, I know some people will say that, well, they can just stop the mail and use computers yet, but the feds don't think that far ahead. They don't want to give everybody private, personal, little computers to answer emails and phone calls and all that stuff. And there, it, it is necessary to still send some stuff via paper to inmates, prisoners, whatever. Uh, so it's really hard to stop this stuff. And K2 really crosses racial lines. A lot of white guys get high in prison, do heroin. Uh, Mexicans, a lot of them do heroin, but then you'll have blacks that do it. If they do it, they'll do it on the down low. Anyway, what I'm saying is this, this crosses all racial lines and I've never seen so many different races come together because they were strung out on K2 in prison. K2, Tucci, uh, whatever they call There's a bunch of different nicknames for it, depending on the prisons. Um, Anyway, it came to my attention that safety was concerned that inmates were going to get a hold of bug spray, spray it on paper, and sell it as K2. The chemicals are relatively close to the same. And I had a, a, a guy that worked was an orderly in safety that, that told me about that, and I kind of laughed. Well, about a month later, a friend of mine by the name of Mendez became a safety orderly and a friend of another friend of mine by the name of Troy came to me and said, Hey, talk to Mendez about getting some of that cockroach, the, the, the bug spray. So in that prison, FCI Terra full of completely just saturated with cockroaches, old prison. A lot of old prisons are, uh, they weren't able to spray during COVID times. So it just got like out of control. So now you get the bug spray that they use 
for all these roaches and stuff. And it's actually kind of brownish. And uh, that was said that it was rumored to be able to be used to dip it in paper and sell as K2. Troy wanted me to get some of that because he wanted to dip it in paper and sell it as K2. Now, that, that, was, that was like uh, maybe back in the day when I was really on it, when I was really just like, a, um, like running hard, I might have been all into it, but it didn't really seem like the right thing to do to me. Forget the right thing to do. It was just, I, I, didn't, want, I didn't want people smoking bug spray and killing themselves, right? Um, there was a day when they ran us all out of the block because they had to spray because it was so bad. And Mendez, my friend, was the one who had to come in and spray. Troy and I had talked to him about this. We were in the same room and Troy cracked on Mendez and said, hey man, hook me up with some bug spray. We'll get rich, blah, blah, blah. When, when Mendez came, I lived in a single cell. Uh, he sprayed the room and he left a big puddle of the spray in my room. When Troy, we came back, we noticed it. Troy was my neighbor. And Troy ended up... Troy, I'm going to put him out there. This is not Robert. This was Troy. And you'll see this video. Probably talk bad to me. Troy ended up getting it. And uh, sure enough, he was dipping it in paper. Now, here's here's what he did. You see this, you know, this kind of envelope. At that time, people were getting K2 sent in in greeting cards. They have since stopped greeting cards, uh, I think, altogether. So look at this you kind of think, okay, this is the closest thing you can find to a greeting card. Well, not really, but that's what he did. He took this and dipped it and let it dry out. At the time I was going to early Chow, I believe. It was Chow and, oh, Troy was working Unicor. So he, it, I wasn't going to early Chow, I was going to dinner. And um, Troy couldn't bring some stuff to one of his good, good friends, Jason. Jason at the time used to be Troy Selly. They were really, really tight. Jason uh, lost his mind. And when I mean lost his mind, he, he was a junkie who had a little bit of class, who had a lot of class as a matter of fact. And he just at some point just said, F it. And just went all the way hard. When I mean hard, he would, there wasn't a drug he wasn't gonna do, whether that was gabapentin, uh, wellbutrin. People snort wellbutrin in prison. It's like speed. Um, Suboxone, K2, but he was really, really, really strung out on K2. Jason's had money. He got money from the street. He was uh, a lot like I was in, in drug days. So I was always known to have money, but my money was always slow. In other words, you're always going to get your money from Robert. Well, except the people I beat. You're always going to get your money from Robert, but... It might be slow. That was the rep I had, and uh, that's 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 just what it was. Um, Troy asked me to bring this card to Jason. Now, I've had problems with Jason in the past. I like Jason. To this day, I do. He's on my Facebook. We talk, uh, or I've, I haven't talked to him in a while, but I like Jason. We had an issue over some money they owed me way back some years ago. I think it was for a store bill. But he he's one of those guys that, he can't tell the truth when, when he owes money. If he owes you money, he's going to say it's going to be there in an hour, but it's, it's not even coming yet. So he, instead of telling the truth, he just puts his spin and he thinks that's better. And that's actually worse for people. Uh, guys that are in the California Department of Corrections know that, that if you said that and you were, we had 10 days. When I was in Chino, you had 10 days to get money to where it had to go. And that was it. There was no speaking. Um, so Jason, the feds aren't that kind of a system. Uh, FCI Terra Hut wasn't that kind of a place. So Jason took advantage. Anyway, I did walk this card down to Jason. And I remember him asking me if it was good. I said, man, I don't smoke stuff. And he's like, man, what is this? He was, he was looking at the texture of the card, like tripping off it. And really it was bad. It was a bad look. I said, I don't know. It's not between me. Excuse me. Talk to Troy. Oh my, I'm sorry. My bad. Jason went back and, um, smoked it. And the next day I saw him before Troy did. And he's like, man, that was fucked up. And I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, man, that, that, he's like, man, that wasn't, 
that was some spray. That was that bug spray stuff. I said, man, I don't know what you're talking about. And I said, did you get high? And he said, yeah, but that was that bug spray stuff, man. <laughs> that stuff was bogus. And I'm like, wait a minute. Was it bogus? Did you get high or whatever? Um, I went back and told Troy. I said, Troy, you're a stupid dumbass. You should have never used that envelope because it gave you away. Jason's not a fool. He might be strung out right now and, and out of his mind, but he's not a fool. Of course, Troy, like I said, Troy and Jason were tight. They were act. This was too. This was a good friend doing it to another good friend. No, that sounds crazy. But if your friend is smoking K two constantly and people are dying from K two, two died, um, and he's and you run out and you go get the shit that killed somebody. I mean, <laughs> and I should say this. Right at that time, Jason always also was getting high on what they called. What did they call that stuff? They didn't call it murder. They had some name for it, nickname for it. He he got so messed up, he he passed out, and his celly threw up, and the throw up went straight into his mouth. These guys were both high on K2. K2 would make people throw up. And if you think about it, if you've ever seen somebody on K2, and if you haven't, go to TikTok. There's a bunch of prisoners that have illegal cell phones that take photographs of people having K2 episodes. They're called epis or episodes. They look like they look like they just got zapped with bug, bug spray, a lot of them. So it makes sense that the bug spray is like the actual like the chemicals that they need. Go look at those videos. Watch them when they have them. They, 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 they do the, like if you spray a cockroach, the cockroach doesn't die. It starts freaking out. That's what they do on K2. And that's fun. You know, but look, I've done stupid stuff. I've done stupid drugs. So I, I mean, how am I going to knock these people? If they want to uh, swim in, in communal bathrooms on the floor underneath the urinals where pee is dripping and they think it's a swimming pool. Hey, who am I to say that that's not a good thing? They want to hang on bars out inside in front of cells like koala bears <laughs> on the second tier. I've seen a guy, I actually opened my cell door up one day and there was a guy like all koala bared out, like hanging onto the cell. Crazy. <laughs> anyway, Jason was uh, going hard. He was back. Uh, said it, it was no good. Troy ends up telling Jason, yeah, it's bug spray. Ha ha. What happened? What happened next? What happened, Jason? Hey, Rob. Rob, can we talk to you for a minute? Can you give me some of that bug spray? <laughs> and I did not. I did not. I'm the good guy here. See the halo? I'm the good guy here. I don't want people smoking bug spray. Um, yes. When Troy got Jason, maybe that's what would be the title of it, get them to fight <laughs> against each other. <laughs> It's crazy, sick it's prison shit, guys. It's prison stuff. That's that's what happened. Don't try it at home. Don't do it. And and, and if you're a K two person and you don't have any, it currently don't don't go get you. Don't go to the to the drawer and get raid. Man, as a matter of fact, I got a whole freaking little house full of bug spray. <laughs> they go start sending it to prisoners. <laughs> I need to call my friend. Hey, bro, I hook you up. Would you guys pay a thousand dollars a sheet? Man, I'll get you for a hundred, bro. Yeah, you know, homie. Don't trip. I got you. <laughs> Just kidding. Have a good one.